everyone. Welcome to today's tutorial where we'll be walking through how to calculate both aspect and slope maps for Ethiopia using Google Earth Engine. Whether you're new to GE or just looking to improve your geospatial skills, this tutorial will break down the code line by line so you can understand how it works and how to apply it to your own projects. So let's dive in. To start, we'll first set up the Google Earth Engine code editor. Make sure you have your account logged in and we can begin writing the code. In this first line of the code, we are importing the FAO Global Administrative Unit Layers, GAL dataset. This dataset provides administrative boundaries for countries across the globe. We are specifically using the level one layer, which includes the boundaries for the first administrative level, in this case, the country boundaries. To get Ethiopia's boundary, we use the filter, function specifying the country name Ethiopia in the ADM0 underscore name field. The result of this operation is a feature collection that holds the geometry of Ethiopia's boundary, which we will use to clip the DM later. Next, we import the SRTM DM dataset from the USGS. This dataset provides elevation data at a resolution of 30 meters. SRTM stands for Shuttle Radar Topography Mission, and this data set is one of the most widely used global elevation models. The E image function loads the DM into the environment, and we're using the SRTM GL1 underscore 03 image, which is the most recent version. Now that we have the DM data for the entire globe, we don't want to work with unnecessary data. So, we clip the DM to the boundary of Ethiopia using the clip method. This means the DM will only cover the area within Ethiopia's borders, significantly reducing the amount of data we are working with and making our analysis more efficient. Now comes the fun part. We're going to calculate the aspect of the terrain. The aspect refers to the compass direction that each pixel of the terrain faces. The values range from 0 degrees to 360 degrees, where 0 degrees means north, 90 degrees means east, 180 degrees means south, and 270 degrees means west. We use the EE, terrain.aspect, function, which takes the DM of Ethiopia and calculates the aspect for each pixel. The result is an image where each pixel contains the direction in which the slope faces. Next, we calculate the slope of the terrain. The slope tells us how steep the terrain is at each pixel. The slope is measured in degrees, with zero degrees representing flat terrain and 90 degrees representing the steepest slope. We use the EE, terrain.slope, function, which operates the same way as the aspect function, but calculates slope values instead of compass directions. The resulting map will show the steepness of the terrain at every location within Ethiopia. Now that we have both the aspect and slope, let's add them to the map for visualization. We use map.centerObject to zoom the map to Ethiopia. The six is the zoom level, which ensures we're viewing the country at a nice scale. Next, we add the aspect map using map.addLayer. We specify the minimum and maximum values for the aspect from 0 to 360 degrees and use a color palette that ranges from blue north to red south. This color palette helps visualize which direction different parts of the country are facing. Similarly, we add the slope map. The color palette for the slope map ranges from black, flat terrain, to red, steepest terrain. We again set the minimum and maximum slope values to zero and 90 degrees. This will help you see areas with steep slopes, which might be useful in environmental studies, agriculture, or disaster management. Finally, we add the DM layer to the map for context. This will allow us to see the elevation of different parts of Ethiopia. We use a color palette from white, low elevation, to brown, high elevation. This provides a nice context for both the slope and aspect maps, as elevation plays a crucial role in determining the slope and direction of the terrain. 
If you want to download the aspect or slope maps for further analysis, we can use the export to image to drive function. This function allows us to export the resulting maps as geo to FEFs to your Google Drive. We specify the image, description, name, the scale of the output in meters, the region, in this case, Ethiopia, and the GeoTIFF format. If you're working on any of these areas or other geospatial projects, I encourage you to experiment with this technique. Whether you're analyzing landscapes, conducting environmental assessments, or even exploring the potential for renewable energy, slope and aspect are essential tools that can provide valuable insights into your study area. Try applying this analysis to other regions or explore how these maps can enhance your research or fieldwork. Don't forget to share your results and any interesting findings with us in the comments. We'd love to see how you're using Google Earth Engine and slope slash aspect analysis in your projects. Thanks for watching, and if you found this tutorial useful, please give it a like, subscribe for more GE tutorials, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. And remember, the world of geospatial analysis is vast. So keep exploring and happy coding.